art used to be something for a higher class. And I will always keep trying to lower that barrier. So at some point I wanted to do something that fitted who I was. And all of a sudden it became fine art. Mus is short for Mustafa. I'm Moroccan, born in Morocco, came to Belgium very early when I was two years old. Uh, I have eight brothers and sisters and uh, I'm a photographer or an image maker or a creative image maker. I don't know, whatever it's, it's called. It's an amazing gang. I mean, everybody's doing their own thing. And that's what, also what I learned, that there's room for everybody. We look at each other often as competition, but it's actually this trip made me realize like, hey, there's room for everybody. Just like, you know, do you, and everybody's like doing something else. Like, uh, don't push away or don't push over or, or badmouth other creatives or photographers because there's room for you, there's room for the other person. and. Put that energy in your work and, you know. I like to work fast, so it's like, if I see the shot that I want to take, I don't have the time to go change this lens. And, and I mean, there's always time, but again, this is a personal thing. <laughs> Today we're shooting a fashion story. It's not classical fashion, it's more uh, like a creative, artistic, way of shooting fashion. I don't like to change lenses a lot of times, but I just do what works for me, so I don't always listen to what others, pe other people do. So my go-to lens is the lens I started using from day one, which is uh, the 2470 2.8. Uh, it's super easy because you don't have to switch lenses. You can move around easily. It's super practical because uh, I like a light backpack. So for me, it's the camera and the lens and there's nothing else in my backpack. So uh, sometimes some flashlights or anything, but that's it. Like this is easy for me. Like you have wide angle, you have 70 millimeter, 50 millimeters, which is perfect for a portrait. And I might test some, uh, the 50 millimeter today, just because I was, I'm curious. The 50 millimeter 1.2, but I'm actually more curious about the aperture because I was always a big fan of um, low apertures. To sharpen it on the eyes was not always the easiest, but now apparently the new camera has this eye recognition, so I'm looking forward to try that. He created a, a perfect environment in, a, in symphony, you know, like everything worked. His girlfriend was dressing up the people, the other two guys, you know, making sure the light was there and the bouncers. And, and was just shooting the photos and enjoying the camera. I like humor in photos, in my photos. I like it humorous. Even sometimes I talk about topics um, within my work. It's always, it's not always on the first layer. It depends how, I mean, uh, how sensitive the subject is. I feel like you should attract the person first aesthetically or with an emotion. And so the person will look at the photo a bit longer and then would read into the, these layers. And that's what I love to do. I attract people with, them, with my work and give them something, uh, yeah, like a little message, you know? It's like a message in a bottle, but it's a message in the photo. I 
I started with the ideas that I had and then I let myself, you know, like uh, get inspired at the moment. Like I'm, I love being creative on the spot. This is what I enjoy the most. I just try to have some ingredients, you know. Um, if you have the ingredients with you, then it's just about freestyling in the kitchen, you know. My style is very personal. It's the things that interests me. I mean, um, I kind of used to live between two worlds, uh, which a lot of people uh, also do. I'm not the only one. There is a big group of people that play basketball, listen to hip hop, it's like you were part of the whole cool culture. Um, and at home I was, you know, the classic Moroccan traditional family. At some point you try to choose, you have both worlds where you can get inspiration from, so it would be almost stupid to choose one world to get inspiration from. You should feel richer because you have so much more places where you can look for inspiration. <laughs> It was, I'm like, I was super tired. windy. Oh, you're here too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm super tired, but it was cool. Yeah. It was yeah, very windy. super so windy. windy. Yeah. Uh, but we will have super cool shots. Um, let's, uh, let's see. I had a cool team. Shout out my assistants, my stylist. My yeah. <laughs> everybody. Yeah, the camera is amazing. <laughs> I sacrificed a lot of my earlier career. I was broke, I sold my car uh, to pay my taxes, ate a lot of sandwiches with tuna, but it was the best period of my life. I had so much fun and, and I forgot about what I was doing. And all of a sudden I saw what I wanted to do. I mean, obviously I lost all those clients. I lost all, I mean, but it was fine. Like I had to start fresh and that was, a, lot, a, a sacrifice that a lot of people didn't understand. If any people are listening to this, it's really worth taking that sacrifice. Uh, when I, I feel like I'm a bit more down because I do get that uh, every now and then, uh, I'm actually enjoying it because I know like, okay, I'm in that period again where I will get out of and hopefully become stronger. When I started, you had these goals, and I think you can't forget like these goals that you had and actually had achieved, have achieved. So, I mean, I'm very thankful for what I can do right now, and everything that comes is a surplus, you know. Like, I will take it with pleasure. I'll be thankful for it, uh, but I'm already quite happy with what I'm doing right now and where I'm at. His work is the one which really inspires me, like seeing the way he, he uses light in an extremely creative way, seeing the way he's using ambient light and he's all, he, like, he also likes to shoot after sunset, like in, this, in the blue hour. He's a, he's a pure artist. They always say never let them know your next move. <laughs> I always wanted to do a personal series with uh, my siblings, their kids, and my parents. This project, by the time I'm 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, I don't know, I know it will be my most important project for me personal. My family is the people that ground me, the people that always supported me, even if they don't um, understand like what I'm doing. For them, I'm not Musta photographer, I'm like Musta sit down and eat, you know. <laughs> Ready? 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 Ready?